starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Heavy shackles used to hold Hi. me down. I'm doing a little um, video today just to show you my favourite and most used sewing tools and these are all tools that um, don't, don't cost a, a lot a lot at all but um, get loads and loads of use out of them. Uh, so uh, the first thing I wanted to tell you about is the needles that I use. Now these are the Genome blue tip needles. Um, now I use these all the time. To be honest, I use these to sew um, most fabrics so they work really well with cottons, cotton lawns, jerseys, wools. Um, I haven't really found a fabric yet that they don't work um, well with so they do tend to cost a little bit more than your standard needle um, but then because they kind of work on everything they are great. Um, so yeah that's the first thing that I wanted to show you. The next thing is what I use um, as pattern weights um, and I simply use metal washers that I got from B&Q. There we go. So these are just um, standard metal washers. They are um, quite heavyweight um, but they're just the right size and I actually like the square shape because I find um, if I want to kind of put it really close to the edge of the pattern when I'm cutting it say with a rotary cutter the square shape um, works much better than the round ones that you see um, that a lot of people use. The next thing is what's called a genoma jig um, so I'll just show you that closer. Um, and this is a um, simple piece of plastic and what this is used for is when you are sewing something with uh, really bulky seams, so for example jeans, you slide this at the back of your presser foot where you're going to sew over the bulk um, and it helps the machine get over the bulk without jamming up that it would do um, without it. Um, I will insert a photograph or maybe even a little video to show you um, what that is like being used. Um, I find this really useful. This is a metallic pin cushion. Um, so you can see I've got my pins on there, but it's metallic, and I find that that is really useful. So this is a, I think it's prim. Um, I will see if I can find it and put a link in, um, but you can literally just throw your pins at it whilst you're sewing um, and they catch on to there. It's also great, say you've got a load of pins on the table that you need to pick up. You can put them on the table and just put this near and all the pins just um, jump up and, and cling onto it. So that is super useful. This next thing is a little bit more on the expensive side and this is a walking foot for my Genome sewing machine. Um, I use this when I am sewing with maybe thicker fabrics where the standard um, foot may struggle to pull the fabric through the feed dogs and it will pull through unevenly. Um, I also use it where I am sewing um, things with quite a bit of bulk so for example if I've got a heavily gathered skirt which I am attaching to a um, waistline I'll use the walking foot and it just helps it to, to feed through evenly I'll just um, bring this in and show you what it looks like so this is the walking foot it just attaches to your machine um, and then when you are sewing it makes sure the feed dogs pull through evenly it looks um, like a little monster doesn't it really but it, it really does help when um, sewing. The next thing I want to tell you about is a bodkin. Um, a bodkin, I'll bring it in close to the camera in a second but it, it, these are about a pound and it's a, a metal rod that has got a ball on the end so I use the ball end when I am kind of pushing corners out or something like that um, and then it's got like a needle eye on the other end and what I use that for is turning um, narrow strips of fabric right side out so for example if you're sewing a strap for a dress or a narrow belt or something like that it makes it really easy to turn that right side out so I'm going to bring this in close to the camera so I can show it you but then I'm actually going to um, demonstrate how I use it as well. 
that the camera is really struggling to focus on that. So this is the end with the um, eye like a needle eye and then it's just a metal rod and that is the uh, ball end. So I'll just show you now how I use it. So I've just got a um, strip of fabric that I've sewn like a strap here um, and it's um, wrong side out. So what I'm going to do is put the needle end of the bodkin um, into the strap um, and push it down to the to the other side and then I've got a um, hand sewing needle and I'm just going to put a few stitches in but making sure that I catch the eye of the bodkin um, and kind of sew either side of it. Um, you do need to put quite a few stitches in place especially if you're using a heavier weight fabric because you will need to um, pull it through with quite some force and if you don't put enough stitches in um, it will um, snap off and, and come undone and you'll have to start again. Then I'll just um, not put a knot in that just to secure it and snip the threads. Then what you want to do is get hold of the ball end of the bodkin and pull the fabric over on itself. It can be a little bit fiddly and uh, you just need to be careful not to pull it too hard otherwise you could snap the bodkin off. Um, but if you just pull it through And that is it, it's as easy as that. Then you just need to um, snip the threads off the end using a seam ripper or some uh, small scissors. And then use the ball end of the bodkin just to push those corners out. And that's it, that's how easy a bodkin is to use. Something else I use um, a great deal is these uh, prim pliers um, and you can get different um, sockets I guess they're called that go into the end but I, what I primarily use them for is these plastic snaps so I'll bring them both close into the camera in a second and show you um, and I will use these um, quite often instead of using uh, buttonholes and buttons on a blouse or something like that um, and they are super quick and so easy to install. Install. Um, I have done a video a while back when I did a demonstration on how to sew a blouse and one of the videos I included was how to use these um, prim pliers and plastic snaps so I'll link to the notes below um, if you want to check that out but let me just show you um, what they look like there we go so um, these are the sockets um, which you can remove and you can buy different sockets that fit the pliers depending on what you're looking to do with them they've got a nice um, soft grip handle and they're really sturdy as well you can see at the top there it's kind of got a silicone cup and that's what's used to uh, squeeze the um, snaps in place this is what the snaps are like um, so you get, I think it's a set of 30, yeah, a set of 30 uh, within a pack um, and you've got the snaps and you've got the, the, the backs um, so you can um, snap them closed and as I say, I'll, I'll show you more about that in the video that I will link. And something else that I use a lot is a darning needle. Now, darning needles, they really do cost next to nothing and they're, they're a few pence if anything because you normally buy a big pack of them. Um, and I use these um, probably on a daily basis and what I use it for is to uh, secure overlock threads. So what I'll do is I'll come in close to the camera and I'll um, show you what I mean by darning needle in case you're not familiar with it and then I'll show you how I use that to secure the threads. Quite blunt, large hand sewing needle and because it's got such a large head it makes it really easy to thread the overlocker threads through. So for example you can see here is a sleeve um, and I've still got a loose overlocker thread. So 
So I'll just show you how I use this. So I'm going to put the um, darning needle, the pointy end first, through some of the overlock stitches. And then I'm going to get the loose overlock thread and put that through the eye of the darning needle. And then pull the needle through. And then I will just snip off those loose threads and that is it. So I hope you found that useful to see what the uh, most common little sewing tools and little gadgets and things are that I use. Do let me know in the comments below if there are any things that I've not shown today um, that you use because I'm always on the lookout for new gadgets to make sewing a little bit easier. Thanks for watching. Uh, do give me a thumbs up if you've liked this video and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you soon. Bye! Just like a child I live in Wonderland All my dreams are coming true Heavy shackles used to hold me down Now my feet don't even reach the ground Just like a